Thanks for checking out Knifeware Cooks. My name is Chris Lord. I'm the manager of the Ottawa Knifeware. And today we're going to use a Hanasuki to prep up some chicken for yakitori skewers that we're going to fire up this weekend. As we mentioned in a couple previous videos, a Hanasuki is a really great knife for butchering birds. All right, it's got a nice thick spine, nice fine point. They're made out of harder steel like most Japanese knives. That means you're going to get a sharper knife that keeps its edge for a lot longer, which is everything you want in a knife. Now I'm using a Masakage Koishi. This is my own knife. I've had it for a number of years now. You can get a new one for $2.93 on the website, knifeware.com. There's a ton of other options too, all right? There's, just type in Hanasuki, you'll find something you love. I'm gonna get right to it. When you're looking at a bird, you gotta figure out where all the parts are, all right? You've got the breast meat here. You've got the thighs on the side, the drumstick here, the wings, the back. There's a really nice piece in here. You see when I squeeze it together, there's this little ridge. Those are the oysters. You never want to leave those behind. They're delicious. There's also the, you know, the tail. My mom used to call it the Pope's nose. If you roast the chicken, everyone would usually fight over these two muscles and this right here. But when we go to take all the bones out, we can always save that and then use it as a skewer later on, okay? So when you're buying a chicken, you want to make sure, there's a couple of things. You know, free range organic is always the best bet, but um, if you can't manage, try to get yourself an air chilled chicken. They're usually in much better shape, okay? So the first step we want to do is use our knife and cut. You see in the thighs here, there's a line of skin on both sides. You want to put a small cut in that, and then you can use your fingers I've got my finger behind each thigh bone, or sorry, the hip, I guess, and you're gonna pull that back and pop it right out. You see the bone popping out here? Same thing on this side. Okay, there's the bone popping out. You really gotta pull on it. Now, when you turn it around and you use your knife, use the tip and very gently and with small cuts, Pull that leg off, okay? And that's the oyster right there. And just let the, the body of the chicken tell you which way to go, okay? Just follow along. It's okay to scrape your knife against it, but we're not trying to cut straight through it, all right? We'll take the bones out of those afterwards. Then with the breasts, we've got the wings here. We'll leave the wing attached for the time being. But if you look at this line here, that's the breastbone of the chicken. And that's going to tell you uh, where to go in this instance as well. So we're gonna cut on either side, down like that, open it up, and then use the tip of your knife to just get everything off. And you see how I grabbed that wing and pulled it back? That'll take it all off in one piece, okay? Now, it's important that I tell you, I'm not an expert on cooking yakitori. Most of my kitchen experience is more in like kind of North American style fine dining, um, but I am a very enthusiastic cook. There is a book, which I'll show you a picture of after, um, called Chicken and Charcoal, where I learned a lot about how to butcher the chickens for yakitori, how to tend to fire, stuff like that. The book's $49.95. We've got it in all of our shops. Um, if you wanted a copy, shoot us an email at uh, hello at knifeware.com and we can get you all sorted out. So here's our carcass. We're not going to throw that away. You can make a stock out of this, but we're going to use it afterwards to make something called tare, which is a basting liquid used for um, dunking your yakitori skewers in and giving them some extra seasoning. It's like a fortified soy sauce where you use bones to um, get some more flavor in there. So then we've got, let's focus on the breast for a minute because it's a little bit easier to look at. We've got the wing is still attached. I'm going to cut that off. Okay. And then I'm going to split it because I like to serve my yakitori. I'll put this piece of meat on a skewer and... I'm gonna cut the tip off. Notice how I'm taking my time around this joint here, trying to find the soft spot. Okay, 
that'll be its own. This little guy, you can use that matare. That's just the tip of the wing. And now we've got our breast here. This is two main muscles. You've got the chicken tender, which is not just a breaded chicken finger, but that'll come off just with your fingers. That usually deserves its own skewer. And then here, we've got the chicken breast. You can pull the skin off. Chicken skin would also get its own skewer. And if you want, there's some tricks to making doing a good job with that. You can blanch it first, and that'll help you get a really nice crispy skin. And then we would take this and we'll dice it up. Now, I don't trim off much of the fat because I like leaving that on there. You get the little puffs of fat when the, it melts and it hits the charcoal. You get the little puffs of smoke. But I find you need to cut the chicken a little bit bigger than what you think you should for these skewers. And we're going to make skewers a little bit later on. We're just getting the chicken ready today. Okay, so I like to cut it into fairly large chunks. Let's call it about an inch cube. Okay, because we want it to cook on the skewer, but we also don't want it to dry out. Okay, so now we've got some breast, some wing, a tender, some skin. Let's look at a leg. The legs are a little bit harder, all right? There's a bone in here that needs to come out. I like to start by using the heel of my Honosuke around the, I guess, the ankle of the chicken. And then you've got, you can kind of picture it a little bit better now. We've got this bone running around like that, and they kind of got the knee in here. So what we're going to do, use the tip of your knife, And I'm just using the tip to scrape the meat away from the bone. Now there's a lot of different muscles in the leg where a traditional yakitori chef is going to separate them all out and um, kind of put different muscles on different skewers. You'll also see when you're looking through a book like Chicken and Charcoal, that there's a lot of parts available that we don't get in our birds because a lot of North Americans aren't too keen on eating all the guts and stuff. They don't want to look at the head. They don't want to eat the kidneys. They don't want any of that. So, so yeah, little cuts. I had an instructor when I was in culinary school who said you can always cut more off, but you can't put it back on. And now we've got a boneless leg. If you look at it now, it's facing you. This is the drumstick and this is the thigh. So normally, one thing I like to do, I'll split it here between the two and then I'll cut the leg into two pieces and they'll each get their own skewer, like one big chunk. And then this one here, I'll trim out some of this extra tendon because it's kind of, it's hard to eat. It's not very pleasant, but everything can go in our pot for the tare. And then we've got the thigh up here. Now there's one of the cool Japanese pieces I'm aware of is this guy up here on top of the thigh. That just will pull right off and they'll call that like a leg tender. That's a really fatty tender piece of meat. You should, a normal place, like a traditional place would keep that all together. And then I split my thigh like I did the, the drumstick and maybe trim it up a little bit. You don't want a ton of fat but you do want some. If you put a ton, everything will kind of flare up on you when you're trying to grill. So if you get a look, that's what we're going to get out of these two. Right? We're going to get our dark meat over here. Came out of the leg. The breast makes a couple different piles. And then uh, in a little bit, we're going to skewer them all up. And uh, later on in the week, I'm going to show you how to cook them. Thanks for watching Knifeware Cooks. My name's Chris. Check out the website, www.knifeware.com. We've got yakitori grills. We've got the skewers, the books, the knives, everything you need to have a go at this yourself. Talk to you soon.